Hi and welcome back to Quinoa Paw Creations tutorial videos and today the video is a demonstration of how I did the brick stitch hummingbird earrings on during a live beading circle zoom session that I did for my Facebook uh, beading group so if you're interested you can join my group and you will have access to the hummingbird earring patterns and also the instructions on how to do the Comanche stitch. <clears throat> For the earrings I used a size 12 beading needles uh, and Nymo size 0 beading thread and size 11 delicates to create these earrings. So um, I had my pattern made into a photo in a peony stitch but turning it sideways it's brick stitch so I started in the middle where we will in Comanche stitch you'll do two rows to begin with <clears throat> put on three beads and the two bottom beads have to set we'll be setting side by side so my tail end is on this here and I'm going to put my needle through towards the tail end um, through the first bead I'm going to pull through and set it right, then it will come out to be the triangle, which will be the beginning of two rows. <clears throat> In regular brick stitch, you do a ladder stitch, but with Comanche stitch, you'll work these two rows um, at the same time. Gives a better foundation. So. We're going to start with um, adding one bead and we will, in Comanche stitch, you're going to weave the, through the beads. So I'm going to go through that purple bead and sets that gold bead right up there on top. And then I will go back up through the bead I just added. And another bead. We go back up through that bead I just added. Sorry. <laughs> so you're working both these rows simultaneously. Uh, one more bead. And I go down through the bead I just added. And I'm working across that middle section and I'll grab another bead and go down through the bead I just added. So you're just working the two rows together and then you'll end up with uh, the, the middle of the body of the bird along that middle side and then we'll work one half of the bird and then we'll weave back down and work the other half of the bird. And now we're going to increase because we need to increase on the end here. So I'm going to uh, add a silver bead there. I added a silver bead to on the end, which will be the back part of his neck that will stick out so it needs to be an increase so I added a bead and then I'm going to go up through I'm coming out that bead and then I'm going to go back up through with the bead next to it and the green bead above it so that's how you work the Comanche stitches you're just kind of weaving your thread back and through forth through the beads I'll go back down through that bead I just added And then I'm going to add another bead as an increase. So I have a bead on and I'm going to go back down through that bead. So add that increase and back up through the bead I just added. So it's basically a ladder stitch to put that increase of two beads for the back of the neck on the bird 
so it would be the, that those two beads that are sticking out there to the increase. So now I'm going to start with two beads and I'm going to I have to increase so I'm going to two beads and I'll go back down through the bead I'm coming out of and that will cause that bead to sit out there on the side and that will be the increase and then I'm going to go through the bead right next to that and back up through the bead on the left so you're weaving through the row on the bottom and back up to the row on top in a brick stitch you would use that thread bridge but with Comanche stitch you're weaving back down through the beads and coming back up and going to come back out through that bead on top so we are going down I'm going down through the same bead that the bead before is coming out of so I'm going back down through that bead same same bead that's in place of using the thread bridge so I'm back down through that same bead and then I'm going to go over to the next bead and go back up and go back through the bead I added so I'm just weaving back and forth between the row I'm adding and the row the previous row and then I just work that pattern increasing and decreasing as necessary so I'm going to put these two beads on as I'm going to work the beak now so I'm going to put on these two beads and come back up through there and I'm going to anchor my beads down a <coughs> and come back up through so I'm just weaving those back through those just to reinforce them and now I'm going to work the beak and the beak is four gold beads and which will be done in a ladder stitch so pull those four beads up next to the piece and the ladder stitch I'm going to do is done I'm holding the beads right up and I'm going to put my needle through the second bead going from bottom top okay so I'm going to go back up through and that will set those beads one on top of the other like a ladder stitch and then I'm going to go through the next bead the same way from the bottom up to the top and then that sets that bead sideways right up next to the two previous so I'm just setting those beads up this is how I do my ladder stitch so and then now the last bead I'm going to go from bottom up and that will set that bead <coughs> in the right spot right to now all four of those beads are horizontal and then I'm going to go back down through weave my needle back down through and the beak is done and then I will add some fingernail polish to that and it will straighten it out because it's kind of floppy now but once I add the fingernail polish it will straighten out like the other one is so just kind of floppy there <laughs> so and now I'm going to weave myself back down through the body to get myself over to the spot where I will need to start beading um, needs to be about right there is where I need to be weave myself over to where I will start to do the tail feathers that 
and I will weave, weave those back up and forth. <clears throat> now, I'm just going to, I'm putting my bead in, needle in the same hole where the bead, previous bead come on, I'm going up through that next bead and the bead I added. So this is the Comanche stitch. I'm going to go back to that same bead that, that my previous bead is coming out of. Go over to the next bead and back up through the bead I added. So instead of using the thread bridges, we're weaving through the beads. So I'm going to add two. And when you start a row, you're going to move over there and skip a bead. I'm going to come up through that center bead because I skipped a bead. I put on two beads. And then I'm just going to go back through those beads and anchor them. Go through the bead I did before and back up through. Oh, I'm sorry, the, the bead that. <laughs> go through the bead where the. And then I'm going to skip over to the next bead and go back up to the bead I added. I like the Comanche stitch better than the uh, brick stitch using the thread bridges because my thread doesn't fray. Thread doesn't fray as much. So now I work my way um, back and forth uh, doing those tail feathers and increasing and dis decreasing as necessary in getting those um, tail feathers done. And, and now I have them all finished. And now I'm just going to weave myself back down through to come out. So I will start the other half of the hummingbird on the back side of the head. So I add so two beads. I skip one. Or no, I'm increasing here, sorry. So two beads in the same hole, in the same bead, so that I get a decrease. So that gold one's gonna hang out the end. I'm gonna come up through the next bead and the bead I just the bead that's on the left, the green one. So that adds the increase I needed. Sorry about that. So now I'm going to continue on. I'm going to go through the bead that the green one came out of and skip over to the next bead and back up through the bead I just added. And I just continue that Comanche stitch all the way over to where the end of the body is. I bead. Go through that same bead the last bead's coming out of. And skip over to the next bead. And we back up through the bead I just added. So two beads, I'm gonna skip one and go three. Go up through the middle. Go back through those beads and then up through the one on the right. So this just weaves that those first two beads in that reinforces it and then you don't have the thread showing on the outside and you're not using the thread bridge. So add a bead, go through the same bead that last bead's coming out of skip over one come up through and then go through the bead i just added down to the same bead skip over one up through the bead i just added and that's the command she stitch i love it i really like it much better than the brick stitch and my work comes out much more um stable and i if i make a mistake it's easier to take out. So weave myself back over there up to the end of those feathers. 
and the last two beads because there's three beads left there so two beads I'm gonna go through and that will be the tip of those feathers go back up through the left side there and make sure you're putting your earring wire on the same um, the right direction so I, I use six beads for the loop and I'm just gonna make sure my wire is the right way and just gonna put my needle through the wire and put my needle back down through and weave my thread through there and then I don't have to open and close that wire because it just I just looped it in so then I'm gonna go back through and reinforce that loop that attached my wire and then I'm going to weave my way back down through enough through enough beads to anchor my thread there so then I'll just continue weaving down into the hummingbird doesn't matter as long as you're weaving in and out just to give some anchor to that thread and it won't work its way back out that way there's no knots you're just weaving yourself right back in through the beads and I burn it off with my trusty little thread zapper love my thread zapper and there is my hummingbird earring now I use this photo paper because it's smooth and the nail polish won't stick to the photo paper so I'm going to straighten out that beak And it as straight as I can. I'm going to take my, I use Sally Hansen's uh, nail hardener. Um, it's uh, quick dry. It dries pretty quick. So I'm just going to do a coat on there. And this will keep the earring stiff. Now I'm going to gonna take it and I'm gonna flatten it out onto it, it because it's photo paper and it's glossy it doesn't stick to the photo paper and then I'm gonna put another coat on the other side and make sure I get enough on that beak and it's kind of basically already drying so when I get that in the right position in the right place then that's how it will dry so it's kind of already starting to form and there is my Comanche stitch or brick stitch hummingbird earrings I'm done with Comanche stitch so like I said, if you're interested, <clears throat> you can come by and join my Beating Circle, Creation Corner Beating Circle Facebook group, and you will have access to the pattern, the hummingbird pattern, and also the instructions for how to do the Comanche stitch. If you have any questions or any concerns, you can ask them in the group, or you can join us on Sunday afternoon we have i have my live zoom beating circle sunday afternoon from 1 p.m to 4 p.m pacific standard time 
and you're more than welcome to join us you don't have to be doing the our project you can just hang out with us i do have an etsy shop where i sell uh kits and supplies for the projects that we do um so when i have a, a project that we're doing and i can supply the uh, the materials uh, in a kit then i make those available but i also have other supplies on there and a pattern book so stop by my etsy shop at www.quinwellpawcreations.etsy.com and see what i have available for me and i do have a website it's not up and operating right now but i do hope to get it back online soon so that you can uh, stop by in there and see what's going on there thanks for stopping by i appreciate it hope you learned something See you next time. Bye.